Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and if you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing and, uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and the like button and comment below. If you have any issues and you need questions, I will try my best to answer. Um, yeah, so um, but if you hear screaming, it's Eli having a temper tantrum over screams. We are trying to control uh, his screen time now, and it's not going very well. Uh, but uh, we're trying our best, and we're hoping to get somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, so um, I'm still trying to recover from the Hanson concert. And uh, it's hard when you're when you reach a certain age, um, it's uh, it gets harder and harder to stay up late. Oh, Eli, come on. Uh, uh, and and um, yeah, so I that's why I took the next day off from work to just to have a lazy day. My wife didn't, but I I, I had to because you know. Anyway, um, uh, it's Thanksgiving weekend. I have four days off. The boys, Sam has four days off. My parents are coming from Toronto, so I won't really be vlogging that much. Um, it, it's going to be a fun weekend for the boys and me. I, I rarely get to see my parents, and uh, it's going to be fun. Um, yeah, I'm wearing another Hanson shirt now. <laughs> my wife and I switch shirts um, She uh, because we are the same size. And yeah, that's... That's a good plus for us. <laughs> um, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. Anyway, um, we're going to the mall soon. I think I need a haircut, don't you think? Uh, it's, I've been longing for one, and uh, longing for one. It's not even a face. Anyway, I, yeah, I've been wanting one. <laughs> there we go. And uh, I'm going to go get one now with Eli. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy the day, hopefully. And uh, hopefully Eli gets better throughout the day. Um, so yeah, we're trying to get ready and I'm just getting my hair nice, trying to. You know, people say curly hair is beautiful, but yeah, like really, this, uh, has been a battle for a while and it's not nice to have like curls here and like like you're trying to make it look nice and and then you spend so much time um like you spend so much time uh, getting your hair perfect and then you go outside and it's very humid and yeah and then it just gets poofy it's the worst when it's raining and, uh, and you have to find a hat before you go because if you forget your hat, it gets like, bleh. so, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're off to get the haircut and see you soon. So we're back from the haircut. Um, what do you guys think? Much shorter? This is not everywhere now. Um, <laughs> Uh, it it was a much needed haircut, and the boys got the haircut too. Besides Micah, um, yeah. So this morning, I did something kind of stupid. I warned you. Uh, yeah, and she warned me, but my my inner voice was taking over, and um, yeah, I got an anxiety attack over mangoes. Yeah, you. A lot of people wouldn't think that food could give you anxiety attack. There's so many people who have told me uh, that oh, that gives you anxiety attack. I don't think so. You need medication. Uh, for, don't don't think about it too much. <laughs> and then it yeah, ex exactly. Like people don't bad. people don't understand how it feels. Like, not just me ha who's been having anxiety attacks, but the boys also have been having a lot things, lately. They've been eating things they shouldn't be. Um, 
pretty much for the whole summer when we went off their diet. And uh, it's getting worse and worse, so it's a no, no more. We're going back to the fail-safe diet, which is uh, low in uh, natural chemicals, um, like fruits, veggies, things like that that produce uh, salicylates, uh, um, almonds, and other yeah. stuff like that yeah. that they can't handle. Yeah, it, it, and I see it for myself too. Like I can't, I can't handle it at all. And. Uh, as much as I try to like fight through it, I, I just can't. I'm sorry, but it, it doesn't work that way. And people must understand that. Oh, if you want to look into it, uh, the fail-safe diet. Uh, if you have kids that are very sensitive to uh, a lot of things. And Even for you. They have, they have ADD or like autism or any kind of uh, food sensitivities. Yeah, sorry, sensitivities. Um, you can go to uh, their website, it's called fedup.com.au, I think. Um, yeah, there's a lot of information in there, and uh, it's pretty amazing what it does. When after a week or so on a diet, you see so many changes. It's been really good to our kids. So and, to me, and to me, uh, and to me, yeah. yeah, yeah, because it's not just for kids, it's for adults too. You, you got you got uh, anybody. Like, elimination diet. Yeah, it uh, it helps uh, a lot, and you see, like my face is very red too, and uh, and that's another symptom. Like, look over here, I got all the spots, and that only comes out when I'm eating stuff I shouldn't be eating, and uh, these are the stuff, uh, the list of food that I could take. The well, it's a lot of stuff. Uh, um. It's just a long list of stuff. Uh, here, here. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. This is the book of recipes we have. No, I have a few. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's called Fed Up by Sue Dengate. Um, it has a list somewhere of the things you're not allowed to be eating. It's here. So, like, artificial colors, flavors, uh, preservatives, uh... Flavor enhancers, uh, salicylates, amines, and gl glutamates, um, which are pretty much like all fruits except for pears um, on the low chemical diet. And then vegetables, you have to eliminate a lot of them too. Uh, we're pretty much eating just green. Let me see, where's the list? Green veggies like leeks, um, green onions. Rutabagas, potatoes, Brussels sprouts, what else? Cabbage. What else was there? I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, uh, it's pretty hard to do, but it's worth it. You have to be very strict, and not a lot of people can. And keep going. That. Don't give up because you see symptoms in the yeah. first week or yeah, two. Yeah. Because it'll give you um, detoxing sy symptoms. Yeah. And Here we go. Yeah, and, and, and Green beans, Brussels sprouts. Um, Oh, that's all it says. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, I wanted to add, like, you you guys, some people might think we're crazy doing this, but, you know, you know, something happened to Sam yesterday at school. A kid decided to color with Pur markers per on, on his skin on purpose. And Sam was like, stop, stop. And, and the kid w kept doing it. And guess what happened? Well, the kid got punished for it, of course. And the teacher well, knows. Well, of course, but we're glad he. Yeah, we. Yeah. And um, he's been doing this a lot, apparently. And, and he, the kid's been in, into trouble uh, lately at school, and has been doing bothering other kids. And after that incident with Sam, it, he got very very sick at home a few hours later, and he got a very extreme anxiety attack. And uh, like to a point where he was crying in the bed and very annoyed by we do everything. We like yeah, no, no, no. We we just let him be. We let him calm down, and uh, no. And it's been a horrible like twenty four hours. Yeah. Twenty four. Yeah, yeah. No, well, no, no, no. Because it was last night, so it's been twelve, a little bit more than twelve hours. Yeah. So it's been horrible, technically. So this is why we're saying like. And when, when a person who has extreme allergies like me or like anybody you know and they say, I cannot, don't force them to eat something. 
Because just because you don't see it within the half hour or the hour that you're with it can be them. Up to 24 hours yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like within the Like a teacher used to tell us, Oh, I don't see anything happen with the markers or whatever at home. I'm like, I I at school. I'm like, yeah, but once he gets home, five, six hours later it, it starts. And, yeah, exactly. And you don't see it because, you know, by the time he gets home, he's still fine. And then after the stomach cramps start, and it, it and the headaches, and yeah, the and the headaches, and the, it's red it's, ears. That's how I know red it, ears. It uh, goes through it goes through stages, and uh, it's very tough. And just be more respectful to people who have allergies, and that's what why I'm educating you guys into uh, learning more about food allergies. Uh, it's not about like, oh, this happened to me, that happened to the, him and whatever. It's about teaching people and making it entertaining at the same time. So, well, it's not entertaining, but you, you get what I mean. Anyway, yeah, you like my other Hanson shirt? Yeah, I kind of stole it from Sarah for today. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, so, um, and... We're th I hope we've recovered from the Hanson show, no? Yeah. Yeah. We've, uh, we got a few hours sleep here and there. So, anyway, that's it for now. And thank you for watching and keep watching and hit the sub button and the like button. And thank you for watching if you're new. All right. See you later, alligator.